So we've had our hands on the new Macs for over a week now. Some of them give us great performance games like the M3 and also the M3 Max 2 over the original M2 Max. But there are some disappointments with the M3 Pro over the M2 Pro, but that's another story for another day. But the big question is, when will the likes of the new Macs come out, like the MacBook Air for example? Well, logically, the next event is probably going to be springtime. And to be honest with you guys, it's most likely that event is all going to be about the iPads. Because this year, in 2023, we haven't had any updates to any of the iPad line. So all the iPads definitely need a refresh or an update for every single one of them. Because it's been more than a year now that any of them have had any type of any updates. And I'll be talking about iPads in another video coming up very soon on this channel. So if you want to find out more information about, say, the iPad Pro, the iPad Air, the 11th Gen iPad, the iPad Mini, I don't know if I've missed out any other iPads. But if you want to find out information about that and when they're all coming, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. So if this is going to be the event for sort of springtime, or sort of March or April that we're going to have with iPads, the only next logical time then probably an event is going to happen is going to be WWDC in 2024. WWDC is generally held at the beginning of June time. And at that event, we'll probably most likely see the successor to the M2 Ultra, and that will be the M3 Ultra. The M3 Ultra CPU is probably going to be up to 32 cores, up from the original 24 cores that we have right now with the M2 Ultra. And the main reason is it's double the amount of CPU cores that we've got in the M3 Max. Then for the GPU cores, it will probably be 80 GPU cores up from the 76 that we have with the M2 Ultra right now. And the same reason is behind us, the M3 Max, you can get a total of 40 GPU cores. And if you know anything about how the M3 Ultra is made, it's basically two M3 Max put together. And what it is, it gives you double the amount of cores on both of those chips together and they work simultaneously to give you fantastic performance gains. The crazy thing too is at the moment we have 192 gigabytes of RAM and this could be going all the way up to 256 gigabytes of RAM as an option with the M3 Ultra. But the question is what will this chip go into? Well it's most likely it will go into the Mac Studio and it will also go into the Mac Pro and I'll say this right now it it's more than likely we're not going to get a new design Mac Pro and we're not going to get a new design Mac Studio. So expect the same designs there, the same kind of footprint there. Maybe it might be ever so slightly heavier, a couple more grams, but expect exactly the same port on the rear of the Mac Pro and also on the actual Mac Studio. So there's going to be no differences whatsoever there. But I can tell you one thing, guys, that will be happening for any of these events at the end of 2023. And that is the giveaway we're doing on this channel right now. And it is for this. It is for an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get to the end of this year. So it's going to be before um, the end of the year and before and between or just after Christmas sort of time there. So anywhere from about the 26th to the sort of 1st of January, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on this channel. It's going to be a live stream away and you can be able to get your hands on this iPhone 15 Pro Max and all you have to do to enter in to the giveaway is write down in the comments below of what technology gear you're possibly planning to get in 2023 or even into 2024 put it down in the comments below and also at the same time guys if you are brand new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when the live stream is going to be happening in that week and find out if you're going to be the winner of this iPhone 15 Pro Max and I'll just quickly say guys sadly there are scammers and spammers a lot of people still impersonating myself telling you that you've won a prize and that you've got to part with your money for postage this is not me at all you will not have to pay for postage or taxes or anything like that i will cover all of that so please do ignore them or better still please do report them as you're seeing right here so the next max to talk about is this one right here this here is a macbook air or 13.6 inch macbook air to be precise here and to be deadly honest with you guys I'm not expecting these to come out in the early part of next year in 2024. If anything, the earliest we might see these is in WWDC 2024, what's that June time I just spoke about, or we may see them as a press release 
in the summertime between WWDC and also the iPhone launches. And the main reason behind this is because of this MacBook that is sitting right here. The M3 MacBook Pro, Apple want to get as many sales as they can with this before putting this one on the market. And the main reason why I think they want to do this, I think they want to show the M3 inside this Pro MacBook Pro model is a Pro machine before they stick it in the likes of the MacBook Air. Because generally speaking, they know Apple that if you had the choice, if these both came out at the same time with M3s inside it, more people would pick this over this. So I think they know this and they're leaving a gap between basically putting an M3 inside one of these. And so for that reason, they'll probably want to get the M4 chipset primed and ready just before they're about to launch the M4. They'll put M3 in one of these, then they'll announce the M4 MacBook Pro 14 inch model you'll be able to buy. And I think this is their strategy in what they're doing. So like I say, guys, I think the earliest you'll be able to get your hands on this and also the 15 inch MacBook Air will probably be at WWDC 2024 or could even be between then and also say a event in full sort of time uh, where we'll probably have a press release for this having an M3 inside of it. So with the MacBook Air getting updated, there only leaves one other category and it is with this. This here is the Mac Mini. And when will this get an M3 or an M3 Pro? Well, I think it's the same situation as the MacBook Air. I think at the end of the day, Apple will not update this until probably around WWDC or the fall of 2024, autumn sort of time around that point. Main sort of reasons, they want to get that M3 in their Pro machines right now rolling it out and also like the Mac Studio as well with the M3 Ultra and the M3 Max inside it then only at that point soon after they will probably put an M3 or an M3 Pro inside of us just before the M4 and the M4 Pro come along because at the end of the day Apple see this again a bit like it sits in the same category as the MacBook Air it doesn't sit in their sort of pro pro line sort of categories of products so I think they're going to be delaying it out probably until that point of that year. Remember though guys that we have seen this strategy happening with Apple right now. So for example with the iPhones. So last year when we had the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone 14 Pro we got the A16 chipset put inside of it and the actual normal 14s they actually only just got the A15 or modified A15 put inside of them and then this year when we got to the actual sort of brand new iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, we got that A17 Pro inside it, and you guessed it, the normal 15 and the 15 Plus got last year's A16 chipset put inside of it. There's nothing wrong with that chip, it's still a great chip, but I think they're applying this strategy to their Max from the looks of it. They're putting sort of last year's chips inside of their sort of, I won't say the weaker brands, but you know what I mean, it won't be their Pro line machines, they're not going to put them inside them straight away, they're going to delay it out, and I think this could be their strategy going forward into the future. Another product that we could see next year, and remember this is a could situation, is we could see a larger iMac model, even iMac Pro model. Apple recently have claimed that they're not making a 27 inch iMac, but if you literally take those words literally, it means they're not making a 27 inch iMac iMac. They could be making a 30 inch or a 32 inch iMac instead and inside of that we could see the likes of the M3 Pro or the M3 Max or even the M4 Pro and the M4 Max at the end of 2024. But there's just not enough information yet to say this is definitely happening at this stage. It's just that obviously we have had the statement here that there is no 27 inch iMac in the works right now. But with that guys I hope it gives you a better idea of the rest of the M3 journey for max right now and like i said i will be making a video very soon about of when the ipads are probably going to be released next year and what sort of updates we're going to be seeing then so make sure you do check that out when it does come out and the best way to do that is to make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell and also on that note as well guys if you've enjoyed watching this video please also do press the like button too until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye